Hi, in this video from TV Trade, we're going to t basically take you through the first step to setting up your DVR to access it remotely via your phone or PC or something like this, okay? So the first thing you're going to need to do is determine the correct IP address um, that you want to give the DVR on your own local area network, or LAN as it would be more commonly known, okay? So to do this, we kind of need to see, we need to see basically what sort of IP range has been used. And to do this then, we're going to use a thing called a command prompt, okay? So basically um i'm doing this on a windows xp uh, machine and um, the process is similar but a little different on windows vista and uh, windows um 7 okay but if you're stuck just google uh, just basically google uh, how do i open a command prompt on windows 7 or windows vista something like this okay so on windows xp anyway you hit the start button you go to run and all you have to do is type in cmd and just hit the enter button and there you go there's the command prompt uh, the window open there now so when you have the window open all you have to do is simply type ip config and there's other variations of this ip ip config command but this is all we need for this basic um you know what we need to find out this ip range so you can see here ip address 192.168.1.11 okay so the, the only three things we're really interested in here is the first three parts of this IP address, the 192.168.1, okay? And we can discard this other one because this is just my own machine. Uh, this is the IP address on my particular LAN here, okay? So what we will do in a later video, we'll show you how you enter um, this IP address, uh, the first three parts, and then, you know, you'll designate your own part for the last. And what you'll do is you'll create a static IP in the DVR um, on your own LAN, okay? And what you'll do basically is you'll make some number here at the end, uh, it's up as far as 255 is the maximum you can use, but you'll make it something like 150, 200, you know, something like this, an easy to remember one, and also one high up in the range because um, routers tend to designate uh, IP addresses starting at the bottom and working their way up. So if you put it up nice and high, it's unlikely you'll have 100 or 150 or 200 machines on, on your network. Um, so you know put it up if you put it higher up the range you should be safe enough and you'll have no conflicts and then when you want to get over a command prompt all you have to do is just simply type exit or you can actually click on the x there or whatever and uh, there you are back back to normal use on the pc so that's basically it how to determine your ip range for setting up the dvr and um, the first step um okay